Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 3 of Kitchen Design. Uh, so there is one thing that we did forget to do in our part 1, and I guess in our part 2 as well. Uh, it's called a toe kick, which is basically underneath the cabinet here. If you were to stand right in front of the cabinet, I got low frames again, that's weird. Um, if you were to stand right in front of the cabinet, your toes would actually go underneath where the doors are, okay? So I'm going to show you how to fix that on the ones that we've already done, and then we're going to talk about handles, and then we'll see from there where we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to also move this wall out by about 20 feet. So now my floor is out to the left by 20 feet, and my room is out to the right by 20 feet because I want to just concentrate on these cabinets, okay? Uh, going to the right view and using our slice tool what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these doors that we've already done because we got to make them four inches shorter don't forget that we've got one on the side here too facing the front side uh, you know what sorry before we do that we got to draw a line like this straight through and make sure you go through the middle and then we're gonna offset that by four then we're gonna do slice we have to have our lines that way we know exactly where we're um, where we're clicking. So ooh, I missed the other door. Slice should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hit enter. We're gonna slice across the top one and hit enter to keep both sides. And then we're gonna slice again. We have to click the bottoms of these doors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Enter and slice them across there. Now I know this sounds counterproductive, but it was just something that I missed in the first couple videos that I think are important. Keep both sides. All right, get rid of the lines, cut out the middle pieces, or when I say cut out, I just mean erase. Take the bottom halves, move them up by four, okay? And then union. Now you can continue to union your doors separately, like just doing this one together, or you can really do all of them because they're all going to have the same material unless you're going to get crazy with Technicolors. So I'm just going to union these all together. Um, actually, I'm not because I might want to steal some of these doors again. So forget that. Just do one at a time. By the way, Spacebar does the same thing as Enter. So what I'm doing is um, Spacebar brings me back into Union. I click what I want in Union. I hit Spacebar again. Spacebar brings me back in. One, two, spacebar. Spacebar. One, two, spacebar. Spacebar. One, two, spacebar. Okay. Now, next thing. What we need to do is we need to put a box starting at this corner and using length. And we're going to go all the way down to here. And then we're going to go up four. And we're going to go back four. Whoops, it went forward. That's okay move drop that back by four inches okay subtract from the box small box so we get our uh, okay so you know what we got to make copies of that before we do that so since these are one two three four different pieces we're gonna actually have to make four copies of this so copy grab any base point and if I click once, now there's two copies. If I click again, now there's three. If I click again, now there's four. All right, so subtract. This would have been a lot easier to do on our initial cabinet, but it's not really a big deal. Click, enter, or spacebar. Click, enter. Okay, now it's not going to look like it's cut out, but we did that first one. So click the second one now, enter, box, enter. Click the third one, enter, third box, enter. Click the fourth one enter and the box enter so now you can see that it's all cut out across the bottom okay we got to do one more over here so with the box tool I should be on my 3d tools but I'm not you're gonna click here you're gonna do length you're gonna go to this corner you're gonna go up by whoops I missed that corner let's try that again box okay click once length we go there I don't know why it's not registering that corner all right let's go up first 
and then going this way is going to be 4, and then going back is going to be until that point. That time it gave it to us. Okay, subtract from the box. There's just one of them on this side. Subtract from the box, enter. Got to kind of move your cursor around sometimes to get on that shape. Like that. Alright, so now we're good. We got our toe kick. Okay, alright, handles. I made two different styles of handles and I'm going to show you how to make both and then I'm going to show you how to move them onto the doors. Okay, so let me erase. Well, let's bring this one out so we can take a look at it. Okay, regular knob. What I did was I created... I'm in the uh, I'm in the right view right now, so let's do that again. Go to right. Whoops. Go to the right side. Okay, I'm looking at this knob right here. I'm going to orbit a little bit so I can see behind it. You see the plane is behind the right side draw a circle. I think I did 0.5 radius. And you're going to draw these all inside of each other for now. 0.25 radius. Uh, 1.5 radius. Nope, that one's too big. It's going to be 4 all together. 0.75. And then the small one is going to be 0 0.0625, which is 1 16th. Okay, so leave this one alone. This one is going to move on the green line 0.5 this one is going to move on the green line nope sorry that one stays this one is going to move on the green line 1 and this one is going to move on the green line 1.5 so now we've got four circles that are on top of each other we are going to use loft I should really change my toolbar shouldn't I Grab all four circles, hit enter. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> let's see if I messed up my circles. Let's do uh, let's do loft. I think I didn't click. Sorry, don't do a window when you do that. You got to click them like one, two, three, four. That's what the mistake was. Enter twice. Okay, so you get that knob. Now, when you go to move that knob onto the shape, this is what it looks like in 2D wireframe. You're gonna move it from the base point of the center in the back and what you do is you put it on this corner right here okay that is then going to move over to the left probably like 1.5 and then you're going to take it and move it down same distance 1.5 so let's see what that looks like on conceptual and you'll see that it gets right where we want it okay um, to get the second one you can do mi for mirror select what you want, whoops, MI for mirror, select what you want to mirror, midpoint, straight down, erase the source, no, so now we got two knobs, okay, now these knobs, I like these ones a lot better, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the front side on this one, okay, now this is going to get a little confusing, so I'm going to build it out here, um, draw a line that is 1.5 by 4 by 1.5, you're going to do fillet radius. Now, this is not a fillet edge because it's not a 3D model. Okay. Fillet radius. Um, let's do 0.5 and we'll see if we like that. That's fine. Okay. Then you're going to put a little circle down. That circle is going to be the thickness of what we think a handle would be, which is roughly a quarter of an inch. Okay. And then you're going to do, you got to do join. You're going to join those together. Now see, it's not a closed shape, so we don't need two shapes like we did in the last video with whatever part we were doing. Sweep. What do you want to sweep? Enter. What do you want to sweep it along? So we get something like that. Okay. Same idea here. You're going to move this from the center of the top one, and you're going to put that on one of these faces like that. This is going to get moved again, going to the left, 1.5, grab it again, go down, 1.5, and then you could mirror it across. Uh, actually, you can't mirror on this one, but what you can do is, this is on the right side of a door, so if you grab it, hit move and grab it from this point, you can put it on all the uh, left doors. So we can go like that. Oh, I didn't mean to move it, sorry. I meant to copy it. Grab this, copy from that point, 
you can put that on let's see that one's gonna go on this one it's gonna go on that one and that's it for now okay taking this one again make a copy of it grab it from the center of the actually you can grab it from yeah grab it from the center again we got to do this part again put it right on that corner take that move it over 1.5 now you'll notice with the smaller doors that maybe you don't want to go 1.5 we're gonna look at this from the right side in a second and see if it's what we want well, let's just get all the handles in place first so this is the right door I'm gonna copy this right door one same way off of this chamfer corner and we're gonna go chamfer corner and I don't know if I would want this one here or on the other side I think I'd want it on the other side so we want to go like this copy corner corner now look where that is right now we're not gonna like that so we're gonna have to move that but for the most part, if you have a 3-foot cabinet or maybe even a 24-inch cabinet, that'll probably work. 30-inch cabinet. Anything smaller, these are 1-foot cabinets. This is 1-foot and that's 1-foot. It's not really going to be enough space there using that 1.5 and 1.5. So let's go to the right side. You'll see it's floating where we don't want it to be. So let's move this back roughly 1 inch, which means that it was 0.5. I would keep the height the same, though, because you want them to be all the same in the kitchen. Um, these are fine although maybe I don't like maybe I don't like 1.5 maybe it should have been one again this is total preference I like them in the center like this 0.5 okay those yeah I'm not really loving those either I'm gonna move that about 0.5 so it looks like it should have been 1.5 down and one in that would be the way that I like it. This one could even go 0.75 over, something like that. Okay, so we got that. So this is starting to look like legit cabinets now. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to leave a space for the dishwasher. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to click here and draw 24 and 24. Okay, that's where that dishwasher is going to go later on and then I want to start copying my cabinets over so let's just say that that next one is where we might put a window later on we're gonna go with a 36 inch cabinet using these so I'm gonna to go to the right side I'm gonna get rid of this we don't need that anymore I'm gonna copy this and well, we'll put it out there that's fine I like to make copies of stuff because then you don't have to keep rotating and, and reversing everything that you've already done from the top view rotate have it facing down now you can orbit I can grab it from this back corner and we're gonna put it on that right there don't forget to get rid of this line right here and we can get rid of this as well so now we're starting to build cabinets to the right that's probably where the sink is gonna go um, maybe the next one is gonna be a 24 inch cabinet which would be this one that we made or is that 30 that's a 30 yeah this is a 30 that's fine grab this one copy and paste same thing go to the top change this with a rotation make it face down grab that cabinet maybe flip around so you get to the back and if we can see that corner it's gonna go right there All right then maybe it's a fridge maybe our stove goes over here somewhere um, you know and then we're gonna start working on the top cabinets so to take a look at what we've got so far ooh, look at that I copied one over that wasn't fixed let's get rid of that one I left the knobs though as you can see I'm gonna copy this one without the knobs so this is just silly mistakes which happens it comes down to how fast can you fix it and and working on the fly there again there's no plan for this drawing I'm just kinda drawing uh, let's grab it from this corner we need that toe kick that makes it look a lot more realistic right there and then the knobs should be right where I want them okay alright so let's move some stuff back this is gonna go back on the green line 20 feet these are going to go forward or back to the right 20 feet 
and then I want to look at my camera okay it looks pretty good so far again this is how you get into that render view if you type view if you go to model view and drop that down if you double click on camera and then let's see we would hit apply and hit OK so we're starting to get somewhere here it's starting to look like a kitchen okay um, let's see what if we do what if we do a countertop real quick and then we'll call that a video okay so I'm gonna undo that that way I'm back on this view and I'm gonna zoom in up here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do box I'm gonna click on that corner if it allows me you might need to yeah snap is on that's odd okay there's one we can go from there um, you're gonna go all the way to this back corner and then you're gonna go up by two inches okay so we end up with that now countertops have at least a one inch overhang on all sides so pull this triangle out and do one enter and then if we have a triangle here pull that forward by one alright so we got that part done now next piece is gonna skip right over where the dishwasher is gonna go box from there we're gonna go to here for now and then we're gonna go oh sorry it's in the wrong view somehow it flipped on me um, it's gonna go right over top of where the dishwasher is it actually might be easier to do it from this side if we go there and then rotate a little or orbit a little bit go to there go up two inches grab this one now I don't know if you'll see these um, here let's let's try it it's gonna get confusing in 2d wireframe but you still have the same option to grab that shape there and go one enter and I'll go the same thing from here coming this way on the green line one enter alright so now I'm gonna union those two together again it's pretty confusing on 2d wireframe right now but you're gonna have to jump back and forth union one two enter so now they become one piece okay so let's go look at that camera view again double click apply okay and again it's starting to come together okay um, let's see for the dishwasher what I would do for that all right, let's see if we can do this in here what I would do is I'd grab another box and whoops and I'd go like this length to that corner see it's kind of hard to see so we're gonna have to do this on 2d wireframe but you can see the vacancy there so that shouldn't be a problem just don't get confused with the floor lines uh, let's see so we want to go to the toe plate here which is gonna be that one and then this is gonna go up the same height as the cabinets so that's basically just a dummy box and you can see it's just filled in with a box what we're going to do is we're going to build a door for that with a handle on it and then we'll slap that right on the front okay so let's copy this box out and let's go to the front view and we're going to figure out first of all how big this box is it should be 24 by 34 i believe dim linear 24 A lot of frame rate drops going on I'm not really sure why 34 okay so what if we make our door um, you know we got to leave that four inches at the bottom so what if we let's go back to 2d wireframe what if we take a line there let's just trace around actually with lines and then we're gonna offset we're gonna leave I don't really want to leave anything on the sides I just want to leave something on the bottom and on the top so I'm going to go up four from the bottom and I'm going to come down one from the top. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and erase that and that. I'm going to do a fillet radius zero. There. Now if this gets confusing, move this box a predetermined distance like three feet and we'll move it back three feet in a second and get your fillets out of the way. Okay, and then join these together. 
take this and extrude it forward by four inches and then we're going to put this uh, take this sorry move this over by three feet okay so we've got this shape that's starting to look like a dishwasher okay now the handle of this one is going to be interesting because I'm thinking about the handle that I have at home and it kind of uh, it's like flat and then it comes out on an arc and then goes back down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a polyline on here okay and from the top view this is my dishwasher over here from my top view okay from my top view I'm not seeing that midpoint there we go this convert to arc bring that out like this so now if it starts flipping on you it's not a good thing see it's trying to flip up or is it going backwards let's turn F3 off because it seems like it's trying to snap to something let's see what that does when it's yeah see it's going up okay I think my view just turned again let's go UCS yeah it's on world shouldn't be flipping on us that's strange um, let's try that again it's because we're in a 3d view but it wasn't allowing me to get Oh, I turned F3 off it wasn't allowing me to get that midpoint when I was in a flat view how about like that okay now I'm gonna drag this in by about four inches and I'm gonna drag this side in by about four and we get something like this we're gonna move that down again I'm totally making this up but maybe six inches right maybe only four two back okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the front side and we're gonna put a circle that is a radius of, I don't know, 0.75. Okay, so we get something like that. Sweep this, enter along that. I wanna see what that looks like on conceptual. So it's not great. I don't love it because it's not fully burying itself and it's not leaving much of the handle. I think that that radius is too big. Let's go back. Let's bring that down a little bit by 0.25. So now it's a. Well, let's try that again. 0.5. Sweep, circle, enter, line. That's better. I just don't like how these pieces are sticking out like this. So I'm probably going to move it in just a little bit got to get in a better view here something like that just like that all right now we're not going to go crazy and put like a display on this or anything like that why can't I orbit there we go but that looks pretty good okay so we're going to take this move this grab it from the corner and then we're going to call this video oh we don't need that box we just need the door and the handle but I'm still going to move it from this uh, from the toe kick here, which is going to be that corner right there. All right, and you can see that it's filled in, and I still got my toe kick, so that looks pretty good. Um, I may have left like a little space on the left and right. Maybe I would have made that box like an inch shorter on both sides, but it's really not bad. So to end this, go back into our view, double click the camera, hit apply, hit OK, and you can see, you know, at this point you can start putting materials on there too to see the difference. You could put like a marble on the countertop or, you know, maybe you want to leave your cabinets white. Totally up to you. All right, but that's the end of this one, 25 minute one. Um, hope, hopefully this one wasn't a waste since we messed up with the toe kick in the earlier videos, but you got down the handles and you got down a, something that looks like kind of like a dishwasher. All right, so I appreciate you guys listening try to jump into part four which i'm hope hoping to do later on today or maybe tomorrow and uh you guys are the best all right Gotta catch